Good morning, everyone. President Bush is coming off a week that one top GOP strategist called the worst of his presidency. And on Friday, our first headliner said it was time to get tough with the president. Senator Russ Feingold, welcome back to this week. Morning, George. Tomorrow in the Senate, you're going to introduce a resolution to censure George W. Bush. Let me show that to our viewers and then get you to talk about it. It says, resolved that the United States Senate does hereby censure George W. Bush, President of the United States, and does condemn his unlawful authorization of wiretaps of Americans. That is a big step. Why are you taking it now? It's an unusual step. It's a big step. But what the president did by consciously and intentionally violating the Constitution and the laws of this country with this illegal wiretapping has to be answered. There can be debate about whether the law should be changed. There can be debate about how best to fight terrorism. We all believe that there should be wiretapping in appropriate cases. But the idea that the president can just make up a law in violation of his oath of office has to be answered. But, but as you know, the president says he was acting on his inherent authority, inherent authority under the Constitution. And even your resolution acknowledges that no federal court has ruled that a president does not have that authority as commander-in-chief. So aren't you jumping the gun? Not at all. You know, we've had a chance here for three months to look at whether there's any legal basis for this. And they, they're using shifting legal justifications. First, they try to argue that somehow under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act they can do this. It's pretty clear that they can't. Then there's the argument that somehow the military authorization for Afghanistan allowed this. This has basically been laughed out of the room in the Congress. So the last resort is to somehow say that the president has inherent authority to, to ignore the law of the United States of America. Well, and that has a, has that has a consequence that the president could even order the assassination of American citizens if that's the law. So there is no sort of independent uh, inherent authority that allows the president to override the laws passed by the Congress so of the United States. So if you're so convinced, if you're so convinced that the president has broken the law, why not file an article of impeachment? Well, you know, that's an option that, that we could look at. If, if somebody thought that was a really good idea, there are other options out there. In fact, this conduct is right in the strike zone, even though I'm mean, the founding fathers, they didn't have strike zones, they didn't have baseball, but this is right in the strike zone of the concept of high crimes and misdemeanors. So are but you we pulling to, your punch? But we, we have to consider, is it best for the country to start impeachment proceedings? Is it best for the country to consider removing the president from office? We're not mandated to impeach a president who has broken the law. But I think we are required to do our job, to live up to our oath of office, and say, wait a minute, there has to be, at least as a first step, some accountability. But Proper censure... accountability is a censuring of the president, saying, Mr. President, acknowledge that you broke the law. Return to the law. Return to our system of government. That's what I think we should do.